Hey everyone, I've been designing for a while now, and I'll admit, sometimes I just sit in front of my PC totally stuck on what to create next. It's easy to get lost scrolling through platforms like Amazon and TeePublic, wondering if you should design for this niche or that. But today, I'm here to help you avoid those creative ruts. We're diving into the Halloween niche, and I'll show you my process for finding and designing something exciting that not only sparks my creativity, but also helps to boost sales this fourth quarter without banging my head against the wall in frustration. Let's jump in and get started. Let's go. Okay, so welcome to my computer screen. And today what I'm going to show you is that, you know, it really doesn't need to be difficult when you are trying to sit down at any device, computer, whatever it is that you have in order to create a design. Sometimes, yes, we get writer's block. We get frustrated. We don't know what we're going to be designing. And you know what, guys, you really don't need to reinvent the wheel. We've got tools nowadays like ChatGPT and Google Gemini where we can actually go to and ask for inspiration, ask for motivation, ask for help. And we're gonna do just that in today's very short tutorial. So I've got ChatGPT open on one page, I've got Google Gemini open on another tab, and I wanna see basically what feedback they're going to give based on the same prompt that I'm going to be providing them. Now I already have the prompt copied out, so you don't need to hear me typing, let me just copy it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paste it here on ChatGPT, and it reads, can I please have 20 really cool and original t-shirt text ideas for Halloween that are funny and sarcastic? Let me just head over to Gemini and I'm gonna paste it right there. And we're gonna hit enter on this one too as well. And we're going to allow both ChatGPT and Google Gemini to come back to me with prompts as you can see them appearing on the screen here. So ChatGPT said, absolutely, here are 20 funny and sarcastic Halloween t-shirt ideas. And as you can see, we've got quite an extensive list here of 20 and you can just keep asking it for 20 more and you know, keep doing so until you have as many design possibilities as you would like in order for you to gain motivation, inspiration and get tucked into creating. So just reading a few off, I'm just here for the booze, which please, I put a spell on you because you're annoying, creeping it real. Now, Yes, some of them probably have to jump onto Amazon or TeePublic or any of the other print-on-demand platforms out there and search for them. You would probably find some of these already up in the marketplaces. Now, don't be afraid of that. What you want to do is you want to try and take a look at those designs and see what you can do in order to improve upon them. Ideally, you try and find something that is absolutely new and, you know, that hasn't been created so that actually you can be at the top of any list. Now, I know that there are probably some of you out there saying, no, don't do that. It's not worth it. You know, you're, you're just shooting out into the wind. But guys, you know, you have to stop and think for a moment. At one point in time, these particular designs that we see up on Amazon and all of the other print-on-demand platforms, at one point in time, were new. Somebody thought about them, somebody created a design, and they took off. So what's to say that you couldn't create a design, upload it to these print-on-demand platforms and take off yourself too as well. Just because, you know, some people might say don't do it doesn't necessarily mean that you don't do it. Give it a try. You never know. All it's going to cost you is your time. You're not paying anything in order to do a search and to create a design. So why not, you know? So these are the ones that ChatGPT gave me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say... Um, a number of these, a number of these that you've provided have already been designed by other designers. Can you give me another 20 that are absolutely, and be bombastic, it doesn't matter, absolutely, positively, unique, and that have never been done before. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all, copy it, so I can take that to Google Gemini in case I get a lot of repetition. So we're gonna hit enter on that one. Let's head back to Gemini. Okay, now Gemini has categorized these particular design possibilities um, under different subheadings, which I find really great. So we got some short and sweet ones. I'm not scary, I'm, you're just easily spooked. I put the boo in fabulous. I'm not weird, I'm limited edition. Punny and playful, dark humorous. Okay, and you know, we could say, please continue, because it only gave me 15 of them. We wanted 20. Let's type in the prompt over here too as well. I'm gonna paste it and see what Google Gemini comes back to me with. So playing with words and concepts, I'm not dressing up, I'm auditioning for a horror movie. Number five, I'm not a pumpkin, uh, but I'm definitely spicy. So that could be an interesting one. This costume is 100% recycled from last year. So basically you could go through the list and see what actually resonates with you. So what I would suggest that you do is you open up a Google Doc or a Word document 
and basically copy the ones that really resonate with you. Develop a list of these text design ideas and then go onto platforms like Amazon and see if anybody has done anything before and see if you can actually improve upon them. Now, if some of the suggestions that, you know, either Google Gemini or ChatGPT have given you, you cannot find them on any of the print on demand platforms. Again, let me remind you, don't throw them in the dustbin. That could potentially be a catalyst design for something really good. And obviously it depends on how you are going to design it. So how are you going to design it? Glad you asked. Well, you know, in this day and age, we've got a lot of platforms out there and a lot of platforms are getting really good with spelling too as well. You got Ideogram, you've got Leonardo, two platforms, which in my personal opinion, which are really great in providing designs with text with minimal to no spelling mistakes whatsoever. Then you've got Mid Journey, you've got Recraft. There are a ton of them that, you know, maybe perhaps are really great with respect to the graphics, but not so good with text. So don't worry too much about, you know, incorrect spelling on some of the designs if it's not too intricate because I am going to show you a tool that you can use um, how to correct that and still save a potentially good design. So stick around for that. Okay, so now once you have your selected captions, it's time to ask either of the chatbots to provide you with an effective prompt that you can put into a platform like Ideogram or Leonardo to present you with a really rocking out of this world design that's going to grab the attention of your customers. Okay, so now what we do is I'm looking at number two here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to take number two, which please, and embellish it a little further. So we're going to type in, can you please um, enhance number two, which please, and make it a little funnier or more sarcastic or perhaps add um, another word or two to um, take it from take it from the perspective of a female client wearing this design. You get the idea. I mean, you can ask ChatGPT, take it from any perspective, any angle. Let's say let's give me ten options so that it won't be too loud. Let's click on that. Okay, so here are 10 enhanced and funnier variations, which please, like I have time for that, uh, which please find someone else to hex, not today, not ever, do I look like I care, you can't handle this magic, this broom has better places to be. So again, we've got 10 really great prospective designs that we can actually create a design for. Let's go with uh, number nine. So we're gonna tell, ask ChatGPT, great. Now, can you please provide me with um, an effective uh, image prompt that I can use in an image generator that will generate a really amazing design for number nine, which is going to read, which please, sarcasm is my superpower, and add some interesting prompts to add Halloween related material into the design. And we'll see what ChatGPT comes back with. So we're gonna copy and we're going to paste this prompt into Ideogram. So let's head on over there. We're on Ideogram right over here. And all I wanna do is I want to just click in the prompt area. We're gonna paste it. And then if you want to, you can choose any of these other, you know, um, categories that you can actually ask Ideogram to focus his attention on when, uh, and to use as an influence when creating the design. I'm not going to click on any of them. If you want to, it's totally up to you. What is important is that you turn magic prompt on, okay? And turn your aspect ratio to nine is to 16 because that will make it a lot easier when you wanna transfer the design onto um, you know, a canvas size of 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Uh, if you're using the free version, you don't have an option of turning off the public to private, but that's okay. Um, and then when you're happy with it, we're just going to close this and we're going to click on generate. Okay, so here we go. Ideogram has actually generated four really interesting um, designs for us here. So now that we have these four, it's effectively time to choose which one that you want to use to download. I think I'm going to go with the first one here. And all you need to do is just click on the icon with the three dots, head down to download. And because I'm using the free version, I can only download a JPEG, but I'm not worried about that because I can always upscale it in an upscaler program. So we're going to click on JPEG. All right. And now it has downloaded. Okay. So 
What are we going to do next? Well, what I want to make sure that I do is that I can upscale it and maybe even change the design into a vector. Now to do that, we're going to head on over to Recraft. Okay, so here we are on Recraft. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the downloaded file and I'm just going to drag it into the canvas size on Recraft. Now, as you can see here, it's quite small, but I don't want you to panic. It's no big deal. We're going to click on that and I'm going to click on this icon over here. That looks like a, a balloon here. And basically that's to upscale the design. So we're going to click on that. Okay, here we go. All right, we've got that. And now what I want to do is I want to right click on it and I want to vectorize the image. So I'm going to click on that. This way, when I vectorize it, I can rescale the design to my heart's content and I'm not going to lose resolution. So as small or as large as I can, my resolution is going to stay the same. So there we go. If I wanted to, I can even, you know, affect the colors and change the color scheme based on the palettes but I'm not going to do that. Now, another thing that you can do is you can also remove the background because understandably keeping the background with the white, it's not gonna look good on a black t-shirt or whatnot. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click on the scissor icon over here to remove the background. So it has removed the background as you can see here, it looks really good. Okay, so now once it has removed the background, it's time to download it. So we're gonna click on export and I'm going to choose PNG to download. And there is a very special reason why, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. So let's download it. It is downloading. Now while it's downloading, I'm going to head over to Canva. So here we are on Canva and I've selected red as the color background for a special reason, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. So here we go. We're clicking on the down arrow. I'm bringing in the PNG onto the canvas. Okay, so here we are. Now, can you tell why I actually selected red as the color of the background as opposed to black? Well, because the text is black. Now, if I was going to download and upload it to a white t-shirt or maybe a light colored t-shirt, I wouldn't have a problem. I'd be done and I could actually go ahead and upload it accordingly. But I also want this design to appear on a black t-shirt so that I can give my clients an option of what to buy, be it a dark colored t-shirt or a white colored t-shirt. Now, I brought it onto Canva because Canva has a really amazing tool for people who use the paid version. And if you don't have the paid version, I would highly recommend that you at least, you know, subscribe to the one month free version of Canva and actually give it a go because inevitably you will find this to be a very useful tool. So what am I talking about? If you click on edit image, and you get the magic studio appearing over here on in the second row, the first icon, you've got grab text. So we're going to click on that and we're taken into the grab text section. Now, as you can see here, Canva worked, it analyzed the entire design and it found the text in the design. Brilliant. So I don't have to erase it. I don't have to retype it. It has actually highlighted. As you can see, I'm going to click on it. It's all highlighted in purple. I'm going to click grab text. We'll wait for Canva to work its magic to extrapolate the text so that I will be able to edit it accordingly. Now, when we're talking about edit, I can change the font style. I can change the font size. I can even change the font color. Okay, so there it is. It's toggle here. If I grab it, I can move it all around. Okay, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to click one step back. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the text color and I'm going to change it to white. And boom, we have the text color changed into white. Now, inevitably, you're going to have some artifacts that are going to appear behind the text as it's extrapolating the text. In certain cases, it's workable. In other cases, it's not. It is trial and error. So you just have to basically play around with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the text. I'm going to move it out of the way and I'm going to zoom. Now, in order to get rid of all of these artifacts, I'm going to click on the design again, click on edit image. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, choose the magic eraser. All right, I'm going to readjust the size of the brush, okay, however you want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight over the artifacts, making sure that they're purple. Okay, and we'll do a little bit more over here, just below the bat's wing. And then I'm going to let go and then click erase. We'll wait for Canva again to work its magic. Okay, so once we're ready, we're just going to click on the back arrow here. All right, and now we've gotten rid of those artifacts. I'm just gonna bring back the text and I'm just gonna eyeball it a little. Let's put it about over there. I think that works good. If you want to, you can resize it too as well. Basically, whatever you're happy with, okay? And now what we're gonna do, um, if you wanted to, you can actually even maybe make it the color of the moon. So let's do that. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna choose the color. We'll go over here to uh, add new color. We'll click on the color picker. We'll head over to the moon. 
the lightest part. So now the color for the text is the same color as the moon, so this is gonna be continuity too as well. And then just a question of changing the background color to black, as you can see here, so that you would see how it's going to look on a black t-shirt. We'll just zoom out a little bit, okay? Now, we wanna resize it, so we're gonna click on both of them so that we can group them together. All I did was I clicked on the first component, I held the shift key, clicked on the second one. Now you can see these options have appeared. We're gonna click on group so that everything is put together. And now I can just stretch the design over the size of the canvas so that I can enlarge it. And once you have it centered, you can basically click on share. We wanna click on download. PNG, obviously, you wanna make sure that you click on transparent background if you're using the paid version of Canva. If you're not, download it as a PNG with the black background, or better yet, change the background color to a green or a color which is totally unrelated to any of the colors in the designs, and then take it over to a third-party platform like Remove BG, or you can take it back into Recraft to delete the background. The Remove Background in Recraft is free, and you can still download it as a PNG with a transparent background, so that's probably your best bet. Once you're happy with it, just click Download, and you are good to go. So guys, as you can see, it, you don't necessarily have to reinvent the wheel. You don't need to bang your head against the wall trying to figure out what it is that you're going to design for holidays like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Labor Day, Christmas. We are on the doorstep of the fourth quarter, the busiest time of the calendar year. This is the time that you should be sitting down on those hot summer days in the afternoons where maybe you already can't go because it's too hot. Like I'm doing right now, too hot. So I decided to record this video for you and just Get into creating. Use these platforms like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, use Ideogram, use whatever image generating program that you want to use. Create those designs and really go to town providing something unique, something exciting for your clientele to dig deep into, to sink their fangs into, to coin a Halloween phrase, and you know, put yourself in a great position to really do well this fourth quarter. And these are designs which are gonna stand the test of time. If you don't date them, they could be reused year in, year out. And if you do date them, well, make sure that you save the master file so you can go in and just change the date if you so feel inclined to. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so that you will be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. And now I wanna invite you to click on the thumbnail that has just appeared on your screen, bent on helping you to take your print on demand business to the next level. Thanks for watching, I'll see you there.